uh, they found a difference of 0.6, a one-two surface, for five to 17 year olds. Average, the average saving was 0.6 of a tooth surface. This is out of, by the time that all the teeth have come out in a child's mouth, there's 128 tooth surfaces. So by having fluoridation, the best that they have shown in the United States is a saving of 0.6 on average tooth surfaces. This is what all the answer is about. This is why we have to risk our brains, our bones, our endocrine system, and everything else. And also violate our right to informed consent to medication because the <coughs> this study shows that we could save 0.6 of one tooth surface. It's Alice in Wonderland. It's, it's Kafka-esque that anybody will believe this nonsense. And the only way that you can get a community to believe this nonsense is to make sure your professionals do not read the literature, keep them away, to constantly come out in public and state with confidence that it's perfectly safe and effective. What this amounts to, and I think there's going to be a payoff for this, this is a massive abuse of the public's trust. It is an abuse because people are decent and they don't expect their government officials to play with them like this, to outright lie to them in some cases, or to massage the data in other cases. But they just don't believe that. They, the, and, and we believe our doctors and we believe our dentists. And unfortunately, the, the, the story is the doctors, the dentists, and the scientists are not reading the literature, and they are just following like a bunch of parrots what they're told by their professional bodies and what they're told by the government health agencies without realizing that these people are locked into protecting their credibility. I, by the way, I don't say these things lightly. This is after 14 years, and, and it's still a struggle. You know, Robert will tell you, when one of the things in the car, I said to Robert, I said, why, now that the evidence of effectiveness is so weak and the, the, the health effects are coming through, why are they pushing for fluoridation harder than ever? You know, right now they're trying to introduce mandatory, mandatory fluoridation in New Jersey, in Oregon, in Pennsylvania. Year after year they come back trying to get mandatory fluoridation. Why? And here, to, you know, yes, that's right, the Ontario Dental Association has been talking to the Premier. Uh, go out with a blaze of glory. Introduce mandatory fluoridation into Ontario. And you know, why? 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 It, and the only thing that, I mean, what, what he, he fed back to me, what, I, what I've worked out independently, and that is, it's all about credibility. They are scared stiff of losing 